let me tell you maturity is learning how to solve your own issues without involving third parties na nyinyi families brothers sisters wachenani na ndoa za wenyewe you cannot come in between a relationship of your brother ama your sister ati kwa sababu ni ndugu yenu now you think you know so much about their ins and their outs even the word of god says what god has joined together let no man put asunder that includes you brothers and sisters is none of your business whatever your brothers family or your sister's family is going through is none of your business wachaneni na hao let them solve don't get involved hello hi habari yenu jambo jambo karibu sana to my channel it's none other than Sharon your girl and I'm back again with another interesting video thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber I always appreciate your support always coming back to support my channel if you're new here karibu sana feel at home if you haven't subscribed to my channel like I always say subscribe ni bure kabisa I will not ask you anything sikuitishi chochote ni bure don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down there subscribe to my channel like the videos and don't forget to share with your friends so in today's video like you can see I'm in my car I'm driving and I thought I'm just going to come up here and talk to you people as I go where I am going tuonge tujue mambo vipi now today's video it's a continuation of um, the video I did previously yeah changing status from being married to being single let me just put um the yeah like that so moving status from being married to being single and um i realized a lot of people are in this category where they they have changed their status or status depending on where you're watching from everybody has their own ways of pronoun pronunciations um and it is sometimes a difficult subject to speak about if you haven't got the strength or the grace to speak about it like i said in my previous video being divorced or being separated from your partner comes with a lot of stigma and there are so many people that would not want to associate with you but there's also something else i wanted to talk about in today's video which is all about um looking at the signs that can tell you something is not right there are those red signs when you're in a relationship that you pick on most people ignore them because they think oh well nothing's going to happen we are together and the more you keep ignoring those red signs then um it sometimes leads to kuachana na inakuanga a very difficult thing a very difficult period when you start that phase of separation so what are the number what i'm going to give you a few tips some of the things that you need to look out for as a signal as red signals that you need to look out and don't ignore them act if you see those signs act so there are times in a relationship utakuwa na mtakuwa mnakasirishana and a lot of the times especially if you speak to those who got married before us wanasamanga ah that's a normal thing kukasirika ni kitu ya kawaida which yeah I, I agree I don't dispute that but kuna kukasirika ngaingine it's not normal so if you and your partner get into a disagreement and you keep quiet I'm muongeleshani for a whole week inaisha hamuongeleshani two weeks hamuongeleshani three weeks hamuongeleshani that is not normal it's time to start acting it's time to know that something is not right here and get help sasa akinyamaza mmoja akinyamaza na wewe unyamaze how do you resolve that you cannot resolve an issue 
by not acting upon it. So once you know there's a problem, act on it. Don't keep quiet, don't ignore it. Seek help, there's counseling. I've said that in the past videos. You can approach a counselor. And another mistake people make is you go to people that are not relationship counselors to seek help. Now, how are Jewy? They don't know how to um, help you. So me, what I would advise, if you really want to save your relationship, don't mind spending a few quids in getting a, a, a trained counselor, a trained relationship counselor that can sit with you and um, give you advice on what you need to do. So the number two thing, again, uh, that you need to be looking out for is finances. Finances are very, very sensitive when it comes to a relationship. And if you don't agree when it comes to finances, then chances are there's going to be a big problem. So you need to be able to have a communication in regards to your own finances, how you're going to budget, what you're going to spend um, the money on that you're bringing in, what um, if there's an investment, what are you going to invest on? Agree together. Don't let mmoja naenda nafanya vitu kivyake, mwingine anafanya vitu kivyake. Alafu anakuja kugundua like much much later on. Oh well, um, I could I could have done this, I could have done that. Do you know that is really really wrong? Uh, just give me one second, guys. I need to um, turn here. I've realized I've come to the wrong place, so I need to turn around. Just give me one second. I love to turn the layer. Yeah, so like I was saying, finances, finances are very, very sensitive and uh, you need to be in a position, you need to be in a position to agree on what you're going to do for your finances. Let me go this way. You need to be in a position to agree. You are doing, you are doing something and the other person did not know what you were doing. That, it a lot of problems in your relationship. The other thing is, kuingililiwa ndoa na outsiders. Never ever allow third party to come in between your relationship, your marriage. Mkio wana mulikuwa wa wili peke yenyu. There was no other person. So this issue of bringing at a third parties, at I don't know what kind of rubbish that is. Kwani, the day that you decided to go and, and, and marry or be together, did you consult? Did you consult those same people now that you want to consult? Let me tell you, third parties who are Hawatakangi Mazuri, because maybe they are looking and they are seeing you guys are, are doing so well. I don't even know which way I'm going. Right, so, like I'm saying, the other thing is um, third parties. Don't ever allow third parties to come in between your relationship. At Sasa Mekosana, you go and get Kilam to especially family members. Unawaingiza kwa mashida zenyu. People that should not even be involved, unawaingiza wote. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a, your friends. Everybody knows your ins and your outs. Let me tell you, maturity is learning how to solve your own issues without involving third parties. Na nyinyi families, brothers, sisters, wachenani na ndoa za wenyewe. You cannot come in between a relationship of your brother ama your sister ati kwa sababu ni ndugu yenyu now you think you know so much about their ins and their outs even the word of god says what god has joined together let no man put asunder that includes you brothers and sisters is none of your business whatever your brother's family or your sister's family is going through is none of your business wachaneni na hao let them solve don't get involved let them solve their issues without nyinyi kuwapatia pressures because a lot of marriages are breaking because of the interferences of 
in-laws sadly very very sad and you forget kuna watoto and you know the minute that that family separates the the children are the ones that are going to suffer it's not your brother it's not your sister it's the children your nephews and your nieces are the ones that are going to suffer so please 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 for the sake of those innocent children msingilie ndoa msingilie ndoa it's not good it's not godly and you know what itakuja kukuletea laana hata wewe mwenyewe so if uh, your brother or your sister comes and tells you they are, they are having problems afadhali you refer them to a counselor am muambie mimi nitakusaidia nitawalipia counselor muende kwa relationship counselor msaidiwe but stop speaking negatively about things that you don't know about hamuishi kwa nyumba moja hamuishi kwa nyumba moja so you cannot start speaking about things you do not know or you have no knowledge about sijakasirika ni kuongea tu ninasema tu mimi sijakasirika yes but mimi nasema tu kweli mimi ni msema kweli and i hope that you have listened and i hope that people are going to live a happy and peaceful life for now baraka